just save. Lots of water. Pretty. Oh, I remember them saying, the creators of the, the patch said that they added the PS1 version of the water and there's a crocodile in there. Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing the water looks different than it would if I hadn't downloaded the patch. I wasn't too... I didn't really pay attention, but... Um, man, fluid movement. You know, there's something very... Mm. Can I get him from here? Because I don't want to go in there. There's something very uh, unique and and special about um, PS1 and PS2 graphics. I think it's because the graphics weren't as good as they are today that so much more effort was put into atmosphere and story and character. I'm not saying that we don't have that now with more modern games, but there are so many games that, you know, look stunning visually, but that just don't interest me at all. You know, I actually find it quite rare nowadays for me to be really interested in a a modern game. It has to have a quite a particular unique storyline for me to be interested. Because otherwise I'm just not Oh, hello. Ew. I'm just not interested, if not. Um, you know, because it, it's almost like... I guess it's kind of like a lot of um, movies nowadays with special effects. Like, they look great, but they're boring as hell, and you don't remember them. You know? And it's a shame, because like, I'm not saying that a lot of hard work doesn't go into these games. But, um, but it's just that, I don't know, I think maybe perhaps in a lot of cases, not all, so much focus goes into the way the game looks that the rest is sort of forgotten and you end up with the game that looks great, but it's nothing, nothing special, nothing that sticks with you, nothing that touches you, you know? Um, I don't know if I'm making sense or not, but I think that a lot of people who, you know, are, are fans of, like, this era of video games would agree there is just something very special about about the games from that time. Oh, shit. And I think it's so great that we can still play them. And that fans go to the trouble of making them perform better and look better, if need be. You know, because I really did have a lot of fun playing Tomb Raider 2 on PS1. With I even played it on the old TVs, you know, like we've got, we've got one of those, I don't know what they're called. You know what I'm talking about. The big TVs, the older TVs. Um, I played it on one of those, so with the... It was just really nostalgic, you know, it really... I felt like I was... A kid again. And, um... You know, that's great, but it's also wonderful that, you know, games like this can be kept alive on other platforms and be optimised. So, you know, they can still be discovered and... You know, I mean, the quality is, is so much better because someone work toward making it look better, and I think that's just so awesome. I don't know why I'm here, is there like, I'm thinking maybe there's something I can pick up. Or maybe I can like jump to another bit, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> is there anything else, anything interesting? I don't know. Oh, there's a room over there with some ammo. But I have no idea how I'm going to get over there. No idea at all 
How would you even... I mean, there's a ledge over there. Yeah, I'd have to make it past a series of ledges. Do I really want to go through all that just to get some shotgun ammo? Do I? Okay, but that water is so pretty, though. I love that teal colour. That, like, blue-green. It's, like, my favourite colour. Alongside red. I love red. My two favourite colours are red and, and teal. Like, Miku's hair. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going this way. It'd be fun at some point to perhaps play games that... that, um... that you would suggest I play. Um... that could be interesting. Uh, it looks like I have to go this way. Because I could have just gone straight through to the temple. So I'm pretty sure all of this is just to get stuff, but, you know. Okay, so, by the looks of it, if I slide down there, wait a minute, there's a ledge there. Do you reckon I could make it to that ledge? Hmm. But then... Uh, that is... that is tricky. That's tricky, because basically I'd have to find my way across until I make it to that ledge. Just to get some ammo, uh, I don't want it that much. Nah, I, I don't want it that much. I've got my trusty pistols. What is that noise? Oh. Oh! <laughs> I refuse to go down there. I will only go down there when... They're both dead. There we go. It's interesting. Oh, can I... Can I... <laughs> can I climb along here? <gasps> I can! Oh, very interesting. Okay. If I climb along that... Oh! Okay. Health pack? No. What's down here? Just a crawl space. Okay. Okay. So I didn't have to kill them. I mean, I... I kinda did because of the health pack. What's over here? Ooh. Ooh. What's up here? Why is it just pitch black? Oh, shit! So... Oh. Right. Okay. So... 
<clears throat> I had to go up anyway. And that means... The pure blackness does not reassure me. Oh, okay, we can see things now. The music doesn't reassure me. The Colosseum! Is that- wait, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ow! You bastard! Where is he? never misses. How's that fair? Okay, now he's run away. That is so annoying, how he just disappears every time. <sighs> My health took a nasty blow. So, like, the open sky is supposed to be there, but it's just black. In Anniversary, it's like this beautiful uh, ray of sunshine coming down through the clouds, and it's really gorgeous, and yeah. So there's a doorway over there. There could be some health packs lying around. <gasps> Is the hand of Midas in this one too? I mean, like, does it work the way it should? Like, does it turn you into gold? That other one doesn't want to wake up for some reason. It's still sleeping. What's up there? Okay. Uh-huh. Right, alright, okay. <sighs> so not much to see there for now until I open that door. There's a hole down there. Mmm. I'm gonna have a look at the way over there. Before I make my way down. Another room with a closed door. More bats. Are you appreciating the obvious commentary? I mean, you could be doing something else. Instead of watching this, and maybe you're just listening, in which case I'm informing of you of what's going on. I don't know about you, but I love just listening to ambient commentary. Is that... what is that? Mostly, for me it's mostly uh, horror games that I like to listen to while I'm... Like, it can be painting or creating something or fixing something or... You know. Anything like that. I like to listen to stuff like that. And like, documentaries as well. I listen to a lot of true crime stuff. I love listening to true crime things. Creepy things. Recently I've been listening to Scary Interesting. Um, look at that line. <laughs> That's actually really creepy. It's just staring at me from the corner over there. Can you see it? To the left of me. I don't want to... It's like... Right at the left. It's just... Oh, that's creepy. It's completely immobile. Yeah, and uh, I've listened to every single one of his videos. 
So now I'm waiting for him to make more. I just, um, yeah, anything like. It can be either true crime things or scary stories or accidents, stuff like that. It's interesting. And I think also it, um, I mean, I'd say it makes me more careful. But it can also make you a bit paranoid, to be honest. Although sometimes I don't think that's always a bad thing, I mean. At least you think twice about certain things. What's down there? Okay, I won't be going down there then. There are spikes if you're not watching, but you're just listening. There was a massive hole with spikes in it. <laughs> that is a pointless sand pit. Oh, no, there's an entry there too. For, now, for some reason, I feel like something's going to come out and attack me. If I just drop down into there. And I'm willing to bet that it's linked to this entrance somehow. Good thing they stopped to roar. That gave me time. <gasps> oh shit, shit! I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god, that really hurt. Are you gonna die already? I'm gonna end up using all of my health packs. Very recklessly. Um... I was right, that sand pit... Did, what was that? <laughs> oh no, it's closed off. Oh, okay. Damn, I hope I wasn't... What if, right, you just... You know, I should make multiple save files, because what if I get stuck at one point? Going back all the way to the tomb of Qualopec wouldn't help me much. Anything in there? No, nothing in there. Yeah, it's nice sometimes to just listen to something that's not too distracting. You know? You don't want it to be too distracting. If you are doing something else, am I distracting you? Am I being distracting? Could I be more distracting? Sorry. Then we shall go- Oh! This way. Ha! They can't get me from here. I'm trying to save as much health as I can. Come back, come back. Oh, that's it, they've sussed me out. <sighs> so now I can climb back up. So that opened... Where is it? Oh, was it behind here? I didn't even look. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Oddly empty. This is giving me... This, this area here is giving me liminal space vibes. What's this? Nothing, apparently. There's a door there. And... These look like pressure plates. Do they do anything? They don't do anything. That surprises me. See, that actually scared me a little bit. Um, hmm. Interesting. 
interesting. Okay. Haha. <laughs> oh, great. Another... I'm gonna have to use my brain. That's gonna be a tough one. Okay, so if I stand on this... It opens that. So then... Oh! Let me just go through here. And then that'll open it up again. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be like a puzzle. I wonder what that opened. It just closed. What? <laughs> Got it. Okay. I see how it is. I hear more lions. Right, so let me just... No, I don't want to do that. It's all timed, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. What was that? Does that mean it's timed? How am I gonna do this? Huh? How am I gonna do this? So I gotta go over here next. Something else. I bet it opens that bloody gate. It does, doesn't it? And this opens that. Bastard! <sighs> I have a feeling this is gonna take me a while. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <coughs> Press the thing. Turn around, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Oof. <coughs> yes. Hey. I'm better at this than I remembered. And so that leads towards the spike pit that I saw earlier. No, I didn't want to do that. I was about to say, is that it? What's all of this then? Okay. <laughs> well, I have to fight centaurs in this too. see. I could make that jump and go over there. Or I could go... Hmm. That looks like an interesting opening. There's nothing there. Looks interesting. Can I make it over there? Let me just save real quick. Oh, would you look at that? This could come in handy. Wonder when I can open those doors. <sighs> Did you know that if you uh, finish Tomb Raider Anniversary, you can unlock the uh, director's commentary. I think you just have to finish the game. You don't have to unlock any, like, secrets or anything. I can't remember. But, um, at one point they talk about how they made a lot of mistakes. 
um, like in this level, like they talk about how they mixed up uh, different mythologies, like um, Thor and Hephaestus and Neptune and Poseidon. And they also talk about how they, you know, made this Colosseum, even though we're in Greece and like Colosseums are in Italy, they're, you know, Roman. Um, and I thought, hang on a second. I'm pretty sure I've seen structures like that in Greece. You know, like amphitheatres and stuff. I thought, because, I mean, the Colosseum is in Italy. But there were Colosseums in Greece. Um, they weren't used in the same way. <laughs> um, because the... Well, that went well. The Greeks considered that to be barbaric. Uh, the ways of the Romans was, was barbaric to them. Um, and these, these arenas were used for... <gasps> My heart just did a little jump start. That made me feel alive. There's another one over there. Oh god. Where'd he go? I see you! It's nice of them to stop and yell at me before they attack. It gives me a chance. Um... So, so yeah, like, the Greeks used these uh, arenas for, like, like, Olympic sport, you know, like, uh, and a lot of uh, games of, like, strength and fighting styles, so, like, um, wrestling and boxing and some other practice I can't remember the name of, but it's, like, apparently it was really brutal. Um... But, uh, yeah, not, not used in the same way <laughs> as the Romans, but they did have structures like this. So, I don't think it's that much of a mistake. Um, I mean, I'm not, like, uh, familiar with the differences between ancient Roman architecture and ancient Greek architecture, so I wouldn't be able to say if this looks too Roman to be considered something that you would find in ancient Greece, even though this is like a made-up place, like it doesn't actually exist. Um, but I would argue that, like, this isn't really much of a mistake compared to <laughs> literally mixing up different mythologies, like that's, <laughs> that's more of a noticeable mistake in my opinion. Wait, what was that? <laughs> um, oh, okay, so that was for one of the back rooms. The only thing is, I don't know which one it was. <gasps> this is going to take forever. I'm going to have to go back and forth, aren't I? Do I have to? But which one is it? <laughs> is there a shortcut I can take? No. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? <sighs> um, can I make my way around like this? I mean, I suppose it would be just as quick to drop down and... Fuck it, I'm gonna do that. Oof. <coughs> I bet there are more. No? Hmm. I tell you what. I... <coughs> I'm completely in love with the Croft Manor, but especially the version in Tomb Raider Legend, which I'm, well, I mean, positive that um, it was inspired by the movie version of the Croft Manor with, um, you know, starring Angelina Jolie, which I loved, by the way. Second one obviously has its reputation, but even that I enjoyed. Uh, oh, shit. Um, that's a problem. This is a problem. Do I just stand here? Is it gonna- <gasps> Shit! <laughs> okay. 
So I have to fall into the bottomless pit? No. No, I know what I have to do. Okay. Alright, let's do this again. Okay, okay, I got this. I don't got this. Did I make it? Am I okay? Am I dead? Right. Okay. I'm getting that unsettled feeling again. Right, okay. Did I just... I came from that one, right? Yeah. So it's gotta be on the other side. All those dead bodies down there. It's really quiet. That's what makes it so atmospheric, though. I mean, if you just had constant music playing, it wouldn't feel like... It wouldn't be very immersive, you know? I mean, if you were really exploring tombs... What's that noise? What was that? Something moved. What's moving? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, it's more realistic, you know? You don't want booming dramatic music constantly. This makes it more... more real. I wonder what that grinding sound was. I wonder. Huh? And how do I get up there? If I drop down from here, will I hurt myself? Probably not. Should be okay. Oof. There's that noise again. Something's moving. What is it? Weird. I'm guessing that other higher up door was here. I can't remember. It is. I don't like not knowing what's around the corner. <coughs> Another lever. Okay, so... Oh shit, there he is, that bastard, he's over there. And there's a light. Right, I'm curious because... What is he doing? No. You're not getting me from here. I'm wondering where this passage goes. It could be a shortcut. But just in case I drown... We save first. Oh, I think I know where this is. Shall I push or pull this? Hmm. Huh? 
Huh? Oh, uh, I've covered the entrance. <laughs> It's gone quiet again. Right, so I have to go back anyway then. Back through the passageway, back out, and shoot Pierre again. he's going to be waiting for me. Keys for the upper part of the Colosseum. Alright, here we go. Right, there's one lion. <laughs> right, where is he? There he is, I see him. Can I just ignore him? No, I can't. Can I? Okay, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there's another gorilla down there. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna have to go back up the other way. Okay, so, uh, we went, <gasps> ah, wait a minute, that door's open, so I have a choice, I can either go that way, or I can see where this leads, because I have the key. Hmm. Okay. There better not be a crocodile in here. Okay, we got... Oh, shit. That's a... There's a crocodile. There's a fucking... Oh, God. Is it too late to get out? Let me just... Just... Is it gonna follow me back here? Oh! <gasps> I can't shoot it from here. Of course I can't. Oh, uh, I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want to get... Is it trying to attack me from here? What was that? Oh, God, I don't want to go in there. <sighs> if he bites me, it's going to really hurt. They do a lot of damage. Okay, so there was an opening back there that I didn't go through. Let me just swim around, and of course he's following me. It's... Nope. <sighs> okay, quick, 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 quick. I need to get out before he gets me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Quick, quick! Oh. Shoot him! I can't see him now. Take that. It's not a shark. It's not a shark. Sharks freak me out even more. I can tell you I struggled with uh, Tomb Raider 2. Yes! He's not going to bother me anymore. <laughs> what did that do? It doesn't matter now. I don't have to threaten anymore. Which... It was this way, wasn't it? Was it? <laughs> Oh, yes, nice. 40 minutes. That took me 40 minutes. Whoa. Wait, was this all for a secret? You mean that was just for a... S so I'm, till I'm still lost then, technically. Great, that's awesome. Wow. Wow.